today I am sharing the real reason that you're not growing on Instagram. Keep on watching to find out what it is. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Steckley and here I love to talk all things Instagram, YouTube, filmmaking, freelance, and a little bit of travel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I try to upload two times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss it. Everybody is concerned about their Instagram growth and trying to make that follower number go up just a little faster. A lot of us like to blame the algorithm and complain about how we just aren't seeing that needle move fast enough, but let me tell you the real reason why you're not growing as fast as you want to on Instagram is you are probably not engaging enough. Now I know this might be frustrating to hear for some of you because you probably feel like you are trying to get out there and engage with people as much as you can, but unfortunately the reality is if you really wanna see that follower count tick up on Instagram, you need to be engaging a lot. Now I'm gonna be honest and tell you that I need to take this advice as well. I could be on Instagram out there chatting with people, building community even more often than I already am because you almost can't do it too much. But I have a feeling that for a lot of you, you probably actually aren't spending that much time engaging on Instagram. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna make a guess about how you spend your time on Instagram because this is probably what most people do and what I would do by default if I didn't question myself and try to change this behavior. You open up the app probably when you first wake up or maybe when you're on the bus or waiting in line at the grocery store, you kind of mindlessly scroll through, double tap on a couple photos and then watch through your stories, probably tapping through most of them and hardly pausing to even read the text. You might respond to a couple DMs and if you get some comments on your post, you'll reply to them. But other than that, you probably just close up Instagram and go back to your daily life. And then when you do post a photo, you're really concerned about getting that perfect caption and making a beautiful photo. You get it all set up, the line breaks and everything, post it to Instagram, and then you walk away. Now I can't blame you for this because everybody's busy. And of course, I don't want you to become addicted to being on social media, but this is how you really should be spending your time on Instagram if you want the engagement to count. So many new creators are focused so much on the content and hardly at all on the community. This is understandable. It's important to have high quality content because you need to be serving people value if you want to have a community at all. But at any stage in your growth on Instagram, I would argue that community is always more important than content in the amount of time that you spend on it. All right, so we know that we need to engage more, whether you are an absent-minded scroller or if you respond to comments and maybe even comment on other people's photos sometimes, there's always room for improvement. So here are my tips on how you can engage more on Instagram, which is going to help you grow your account. I would like to introduce to you the 10 by 10 rule. This is something that I made up because I like multiple of 10s. It's easy to remember. I will be honest, it's pretty similar to Gary Vee's dollar 80 or something, but I like even numbers. Here's what you're gonna do. Get out a piece of paper or the notes app on your phone because you're gonna wanna write this down. First, what you need to do is find 10 places on Instagram where you can engage. This might be places like hashtags that your followers are gonna hang out in. Location tags, especially if you are a geographically bound business or brand. In the comments of photos on industry leaders accounts in your niche. Tagged photos of brand or compilation accounts. Your followers photos and your followers stories. These are all great places where you want to be engaging frequently. So those are kind of categories. So come up with 10 individual places where you might go and engage. And by engage, I mean like and comment and leaving meaningful comments. So for example, I'll go through this and give you some ideas of where I might go in my niche to engage with people. So let's say I go and find an industry leader in my niche and I go and comment and respond to comments in their photos. So this might be people like Jenna Kutcher, iconic social media educator, other women in filmmaking and creativity like Sorella Moore, Sarah Dietschy. What I might do is go to their photos and if I see other people leaving comments that they can't respond to because they're super busy, successful, awesome women, I might respond and leave a comment. So let's say I'm a total creep and I know an answer to a question someone's asking Jenna Kutcher, but she doesn't have the time to respond. Someone might comment, hey Jenna, what kind of email marketing software do you use? And I jump in and I say, actually, I'm pretty sure she uses Infusionsoft. Might seem a little bit extra, but it is a great way to go out there and engage. And it shows that you know a little something and it might grab people's attention to go and check out your profile. 
Another example, let's say you're into macrame and your entire profile is about your macrame creations. Maybe you could find a brand that sells macrame and go into the photos where people have tagged their product and you can respond saying, that looks beautiful, I love the style, or I love how you place this in your room, that's a really cool decor, and engage with those people. These are people that are obviously fans of macrame because they've tagged this brand that creates it, so they've purchased their product. That also means that they're likely to be a potential customer of yours. And just in general, they're a perfect candidate for following your account. So engage with them, comment back. And of course, if you have existing followers, make sure that you engage with their content because the more Instagram thinks that you are a friend to that person, the more likely you are to show up in their feed. So what I would recommend is come up with a list of like 10 to 15 people that are like your all-star fan club, like the people that you want to be friends with because you're just so aligned and they love what you're doing. Go and comment on their latest post, like follow them. Them, comment on them when they come up in your feed or when you're trying to really get out there and engage look up their profile and go comment on their last few photos not only will this mean a lot to your followers because they feel recognized and acknowledged but it's also going to help you in the algorithm so hopefully that makes sense the main idea is come up with 10 places like make a list of the 10 places where you are going to go engage when it's time to engage that's the first half of the 10. the second 10 is go there to that category and leave 10 comments. So bringing it back to my first example, let's say one of my 10 places is in the comments of Jenna Kutcher's photos on her Instagram page. I'm gonna scroll through her feed and whether I do it all on one photo because she's got thousands of comments so you know that I could, or if I spread it out between a few photos, I'm gonna go and leave 10 comments on those photos responding to people. And that's key, especially with the industry leader photo thing, reply to people because otherwise uh, you might not get noticed. So it's good to reach out to people individually and directly. So that's the 10 by 10 rule. Find 10 places where you can engage with people that are perfect candidates for your community and leave 10 comments. That's about the diversity of where you reach out to and then the frequency of how you reach out. And as for how often you apply this, I would recommend doing this every day. Now that might sound like a lot for some people and I get it, it is. It really depends on how much time you can dedicate to your Instagram profile. But what I will say is this, the more time you can dedicate to Instagram, the quicker you will grow. So if you do this 10 by 10 rule every day for like three months, I promise you, you will see movement there. The whole point of this exercise is that you are getting outside of your immediate area of Instagram and reaching out to people that are perfect candidates to follow you. They're your ideal follower. They already love what you're into and they will love the content you make. You're just making that connection by answering their question on someone else's post or commenting on their photo and complimenting them. This is just giving your profile a chance to be seen by more people. In addition to that, it is also helping you in the algorithm and here's why. Even in the cases where you are reaching out to somebody who is just your follower, they already are kind of in your community as far as you're concerned, you're reaching out to them and commenting on their stuff because it tells Instagram that you guys are friends, you're interested in what each other is doing, it makes it more likely that they will see your posts. So this entire strategy of the 10 by 10 works two ways. It helps you with outreach, getting to know more people, kind of that direct sales idea of getting your profile in front of someone else's eyes, but it also helps you in the algorithm because it shows Instagram you're an active account, you're engaging, you're doing stuff. Show my photos to people. Okay, so that's the 10 by 10 rule. That's about comment engagement. There's lots of other ways that you can engage with the Instagram app to show Instagram that you are active and that your content should be shown to people. For instance, a big one that I think a lot of people are sleeping on is the DMs. This is something that I think Instagram is just gonna keep focusing more on as they take the focus away from likes and other metrics like that that are public. They care about real interaction because that is valuable interaction in their eyes. So go out there and start conversations with people. For one, reply to all of your DMs. If people are asking you questions or complimenting you or whatever, respond, start a conversation. I would also encourage you to solicit DMs from people, like make a story that says, how was your day? Re like reply to me and then have a conversation with people. This is something that I love to do because I like to just know what my followers are up to and know what their lives are like. It's a great way to connect with people and it also shows Instagram that you guys are interested in each other's lives and so they will show you their photos. Makes sense, right? Two people that message each other, they're probably friends, they probably wanna see each other's photos. Another great way to do this is by starting DM groups with the Instagram chat button. So check out my video all about that where I talk about how you can use this and 
why it's going to be effective and all of that kind of thing. It's a great way to integrate DMs into your engagement strategy. In addition to DMs, you can also do live streams. This one is really important because it's a great way to connect with your audience and it shows Instagram that you are active in another facet of their app. In general, if you can, doing feed posts, stories, live streams, and IGTV is gonna be the best way to really show Instagram that you're a super active account and it's gonna make it more likely that they recommend your content to people and actually show your photos to your followers. Of course, Instagram has these features because they want their users to use them, so they are going to incentivize you in the algorithm to use their different features. This is something that I could definitely act on because I hardly ever post to IGTV, but if I did, would you guys watch it? Let me know in the comments below what kind of content you'd want to see on IGTV. But in general, the more interacting and engaging you do across these different vehicles of Instagram's content, the better that you're going to do in the algorithm. Partly because you're just legit directly reaching out to people, people are going to see your profile, but also because Instagram likes when you do these things and so they're going to make you do better in the algorithm if you do these things. At the end of the day, it is social media, and so it's important to be social. Go out, build relationships, actually make friends with people. So many people I think have gotten almost too focused on the numbers where they forget that a thousand followers is actually a thousand people. And it's about creating content for people and meeting people and talking to people. It's not about trying to turn this into some video game of getting a high score. So I think when you bring it back to that person to person focus, you think about engagement and interaction, that is gonna be the best way to really grow your Instagram because that's what it's all about. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you liked my tips for engagement. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all about what I talked about or if you have ideas for future videos that you'd like to see from me. If you haven't already, check out this video that I made about how to go from zero to 1K followers on Instagram. I think you would find it useful. But before you go watch that, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Like I said, I upload twice a week and I wouldn't want you to miss them. As always, I hope you are having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.